Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 17. We're at Goldcrest Valley in the, oh, the, the sheep pen over here, and yeah, they really don't have any food in there, do they? Hmm. Well, I, uh, let's see, last time we finished off the potatoes as far as planting them, and I began to cultivate where the poplars were, but got to thinking we don't want to leave this series with the animals in this condition. We need to spend an episode just cleaning all this up and feeding everybody. It's hard to believe it could really be out that far, but I have advanced the game several days lately in order to get the crops to where I could record them, so that's probably the reason why. Normally, without that kind of a rush, we would be popping in and working on the animals here and there, and they would never get in this horrible state of disrepair. So, let's start by cleaning up all three of the uh, the feeding trough areas. And that way, I'm going to get over here so I can drive forward so I don't reverse my reverse. There we go. That way, uh, uh, we'll know exactly what kind of, what quantities of food are truly needed. Because, let's see, where is in? There it is. Because a full feeder will not let you dump the, uh, the grass back in afterward. And I believe the sheep will take grass or hay. So, the green stuff or the dry and rolled stuff. So, let's clean this stuff up here and get it tossed back in. For that matter, we dumped a whole bunch of it down over here. Let's see if we can pick this up, too, without spilling the rest of it out. So, something like that and down. Ah, there we go. I think there's a little bit left off there to the right. Let's do that again. Okay, oh, it was a little bit to the left. It weren't very neat making that pile. Right there. Alright, that pretty much cleans this up. So we have 634 liters in there. Not very much. The pile looked more impressive than it actually was. Let's bring this over. And see if we can pour it on top of a sheet there. Something like that. Alright, well that put a tiny bit in, didn't it? Sheep, where are you? Over here. Uh, yeah, we just added a little bit in there. So we got to bring water over. Yeah, we're out of everything. Hmm, okay. We have some work to do. Let's drive this over to where? we got to go two different directions, huh? Well, I guess we are going to the cattle first. Well, let's make the cattle the end. Yeah, I don't know. Both of them are quite extensive jobs. Both would work as the uh, end of the episode. Now we'll go to the pigs first. Clean them up, kind of reevaluate what's over there. I guess I could have dropped a bale in. I didn't think about that. Now we'll do the cleanup first. So fastest way over there I guess is this way. Meaning onto the main road. Clear? Yeah. Let's get inside. Less likelihood to wrap myself around a telephone pole from in here. Yeah, let's scoot you up a little bit. There's a car. Should we play chicken? <laughs> no. I think I'd lose. He doesn't have any reflexes. He doesn't have any fears. He just drives straight. And skips stop signs. I haven't uh, driven these vehicles for a, a few days. I got to get my fingers, my finger muscle memory, up and running again. Get used to these corners without uh, flipping these things around. I've had some pretty spectacular crashes recording this series. Most of them I've cut out, but I got to thinking just recently it would have been kind of nice to have saved some of those for a like a blooper reel. But thought about going back and trying to recreate them, but it's never the same when it's not spontaneous. Alright, this is corn. What have we got? You there. Down. Let's see if we can do this from in cab. Go down until it touches, and then let's see, let's take that down until it touches. There, now we're on the ground. So that should be slightly tipped forward. Alright? Not quite. 
Right there is. Okay. Which means I'm a little bit too high right now. All right. Let's run you through. Yeah, I'm quite quite high. I'm getting stuck on the paint. And I'm uh, I'm. What do you call that when you uh, hydroplaning? We'll, we'll say that. Um, what do I need? What's behind me? All right. So let's take you over and just catch this little piece here. Down and scoop. Okay. Yeah, one more little scoop over here. Whoa! Yeah, this is so much easier from outside. I've got no real depth perspective from inside there. Driving is better inside, but operating the forklifts and, and whatnot needs to be done from the outside. Alright, you're all in. And let's dump you. And everything here is done for the most part except for the, uh, the straw which is the blower. Everything here can be done. Oh, hello! I did that last time I was here, too. Low fence always catches me off guard. Uh, can be done from the scoop. The, uh, uh, we call it the bucket. So let's go ahead and fill everybody up here. Though, there is something we're short on. It was corn. That's right. Yeah, we had just run out. We do have more corn available, though. Hello, wall. So let's do corn last. We need to bring a load in here. Hopefully we still have some. We sold... What did we sell? Sunflower and canola, right? I guess what we sold a few episodes ago. Year 1300. I don't remember how much they were taking before. Let's go ahead and load it all up. What do we got here? Didn't feel right. Right there. And... Hey, I just realized we've got the... Uh, uh, the hay blower. Hay shredder here. So we can deal with that while we're here too. Alright, that feels better. 3,000. Where's that low roof? There it is. Too bad I can't dump this in over in this area. I guess if I was smart, I would have put some kind of a storage building out at this side for the grain in there. But, I only think about those things afterward. We'd have to take all the trees out to do it, too. Alright, let's go for the center. And let's get up higher this time. Like so. There we go. How much are you going to take? All of it. Good. I'm going to have to go dump off a little bit. Faster from the, that direction? I guess not. We're kind of dead center, aren't we? Uh, what did I dump in there? I'm thinking that was like the wheat or barley. I want to say we brought wheat that time. So this would be. I guess I. Sorry, it will show me a symbol, won't it? I didn't look down in there last time. You go down about that angle. Touch. A little more angle. Right there. Alright. 3,500, we'll call that good. And it is... What is that? That's soy. Okay, this is the the group that's either soy or canola or sunflower seed. So we need to bring corn over. And we need to bring either potatoes or sugar beets over. Well, we planted the potatoes so that we could uh, do the pigs. That was the intention, but then I forgot that we already had the sugar beets planted, so actually both would do the job. Alright, you up. And tip, how far will you take? Almost. <laughs> okay, we'll go drop that off and grab the... I think, I don't have a tractor over here. Let's see if we can grab the bale... Shredder, I want to call it, with this guy. See if the hitches will, uh, will, will line up. If not, we'll have to come back for it. And if that's the case, I guess we'll go back to the sheep and uh, grab the... Uh, toss a, a bale of hay in there and finish feeding them. Okay, dump you off. So, actually, leave you down and take you up. Okay. 
Let's see if these guys will mesh. If not, then we'll have to bring a tractor over. Well, that actually worked right in there. I'm not getting any sense of a, of a connection symbol. So no, these won't match. Alright, so out here, I'm not seeing water trough or anything else. So these guys need to go in there. We need water, and we need the corn, and the sweet potatoes. So that's what finishes this area. Let's head back to the sheep and toss a bale of hay in there, and then head off to the cows and do what we can over there. Just wondering. I want to finish it with a tractor front loader bucket. That way... That's right. Let's look at these. These trees have got the next stage of growth. That way um, I can do all of the tractor connections to the, the blower and the uh, other shredder. Where I feel like I went too far. I did. Let's go back this way. And uh, the water tank. That one right past them all. All the trees we planted. Let's see uh, what stage of growth they're in now. I get the sense they're going to be kind of like these trees here. They're not going to be conifers. What we mostly cut down. There we go. Let's zip out here to one. No, that's a conifer. Yeah, that is a uh, Douglas fir. Douglas fir. I'm thinking so. Although spruce fans out like that too. But I'm thinking that's a fir. Where's another one right in there? Yep, I'm going to say Douglas fir. It's kind of a Christmas tree look. I don't know. Spruce looks a lot like that too. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue our trip to the sheep. Nice to see that they're growing. There we go. Raise you up a bit. 26 miles an hour. I'm sure nothing will go wrong over here. <laughs> It is fun driving this equipment. It's a fun recreation. Come home after work and sit down and, and drive all this when it uh, doesn't cost you anything. You know, it's not exhausting in the sense that uh, it's, you're actually in there trying to trying to do all of that. You know, it's a good pastime for an evening after work. Gentleman farming, we'll call it. And speaking of driving, I was over at Daggerwind's YouTube channel, and he's got all kinds of different series of farming simulator. So most of you who are watching this have probably seen his stuff too. He's, he's who I would consider the best at it. But um, um, he's showcasing a game right now called Gold Rush, and it's a takeoff on. Um, the, the TV series Gold Rush. Where am I going? I'm kind of right up in there. In which you get a, a plot of land in Alaska and you buy all the equipment and, and you operate it, uh, digging up dirt, excavating, running it through sluice boxes and separating it out and all that sort of thing. And I've been watching that and just having a ball with it and decided to write to the company and ask them, where am I going with this? Let's go out here asked them if they would consider giving me a, a key, and if so, I would I would go ahead and put together a series with it. Well, they wrote back today, and they gave me a couple of keys. So, one for me, and one to, uh, one to give away. Actually, it gave me three of them, but I went ahead and gave one to, uh, to someone who's going to be starting up his own uh, YouTube channel soon. Let's see, if I got the right one selected? Yeah. And he was real interested in it as well, so I gave him a, a gift to kind of get his, his channel started. And when that gets up and going, I'll, I'll uh, give a shout out to him and, and uh, let you know how to how to find him. He'll be doing similar kind of games. Uh, I love Spanished. He'll be doing probably that is one of his first games. There's the the triple pronged hay hook that I couldn't find. I couldn't figure out. Uh, uh, last episode. Let's see, how do I go out? Is right mouse in that way? Okay, there. It's actually pretty close. There, got it. You back in, lift up. Let's grab... I'll grab two bales of hay. We found out last time you can't overfeed them. It, it'll store it in 
memory. It'll say 100%, but the numbers behind the behind the scene are probably more like uh, you know 200%. It'll it'll be a long time before the 100% will start to drop. Now, can I snag those and get out of these rafters? When I do that, they're all going to pivot outward, aren't they? They might. All right. We'll get a little indicator in the bottom right when it makes contact. There it is, 8,000. Snag that. Now, I'm going to try pivoting up a little. Lifting. Yeah, we're in the roof. Can I back out? I cannot. Let's go forward. Do that. All right. Let's try just lifting a touch. All right, that's got them. Okay. When you play Farming Simulator, you enter a parallel universe where physics is different. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. And where perspective doesn't work. <laughs> doesn't exist. All right, well, let's I'm gonna line this up a little bit better. See if I can swing them off of this guy accidentally. There we go. I have a feeling it's going to just absorb both of them when I tip down. Boom. No, it didn't. Stop. Well, there's a there's a, a play toy. For the <laughs> yeah. For the, uh, for the sheep. He only took one of them. Okay. Well, I'm guessing that we're going to see that grass is, um, is full. Yeah. Okay. Water and cleanliness. See, cleanliness hasn't reset yet. So I'm thinking that, and this hasn't reset. Well, it may not have if we if the food went down right when we took all that wool last time. But it just feels like some of this is delayed, and it will it'll pop in later. All right, with that, what? Let's think about this. I will need the fork, the the bale fork over there at the cattle, but I need a tractor for everything else. So let's just back this guy up and call this one done and we'll grab a tractor for the rest. So I'll turn you off and a couple more will get me out into here. That's what I want right there. First of all, we need to give this guy a bath. That's just embarrassing. Fuel? Yeah, you could use a fuel up too. I don't know how much fuel is left over here in this portable tank, but let's, uh, let's use what we can. Right about there. I have the little symbol that showed up in the bottom right corner of the, the gas nozzle. Let's take this up to a little past half. Somewhere around 200. Yeah, somewhere in there. Okay. Uh, give it a bath. And be on our way. Alright, R fires him up. Everything gets super noisy, can't, so you can't hear me anymore. And this hose that connects to this wand is the most amazing hose. You can run in as many circles around this as you want and it never gets tangled. I don't like it. Alright. Let's do what? Let's think about this. Where is the water tank? It is over here, right? I kind of have a memory of it being on the side right here. Correct? No. Okay. Water tank. Water tank. Okay, then maybe he's over at the uh, uh, the cattle. I guess we'll find out. We do know that we need corn and sweet potatoes. Yeah, so let's go ahead and finish off the pigs right now. Let's grab one tipper. No, two. Grab two. We don't need a massive quantity. Let's grab these guys. There you are. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Gold Rush. I'm thinking that might be an interesting series to follow this one with. To uh, still be open world uh, driving equipment. It's it's not near as refined as this one. It is still fairly new, and you can tell there's there's still probably years worth of updates to add to it. Now it's it definitely needs some polishing, needs some optimizing. So 
it may be that we'll put in half a dozen episodes and decide to... Where am I going? I'm talking. You know me, I can't talk and drive. Um, hello. Yeah, let's go grab that corn. Um, that half a dozen episodes and then sit back and wait for a while and let things update and then go back in and continue, that sort of a thing. Actually, I actually have way too many games on my plate right now. I want to get back and do tracks again. And um, coming out uh, probably the same day this one shows up, I'm going to have Ostrov hit the, hit the channel. Let's go to Corn. There you are. And I have 34,000 available. 5,000 would do it. So R kills it. Yeah, let's stop right about there. All right, that's enough for that one. Let's... Hmm. It's going to be a little tricky getting the sweet potato. No, it won't. That's right. Sweet potatoes have got a... Not sweet potato. Sugar beets have got a, a conveyor belt. So let's sneak back into here. There we are. There's a conveyor belt for those. I was thinking I was going to have to detach and get the bucket on this because I don't have... Uh, I can't just use another tractor. I've got to have this arm here. But let's, let's see, we want to go this way. Let's give this a try. I haven't done this yet. I stuck it out the back, but it automatically rides up on top of the sugar beets. It doesn't stay on the ground. I was really hoping the sugar beets would, uh, uh, would kind of pile up over the top of it, but it didn't work that way. So is this automatic? Huh, can I actually get it under there? Probably not. Okay. So, yeah, that's a real awkward angle. It wasn't an awkward angle when I started. Let's hop out of here. And can I jump this wall? It will let me. Okay. Let's grab this one. I have to hit start like an engine. And now I can try to lower this. There we go. Get out a little further. Lower it down. Whoa. Okay, that's as far down as he wants to go. And I can st extend it out further. That's up and down there. Oh, okay. Well, we're ready to fall over, aren't we? In and out doesn't work. Let's go to the right mouse button. There it is. Well, that wants so much to pour into there. Um, I don't know what else I need to do to... I bet you I need the other one. I need the little green one. I forgot about that. I do. Okay. Jump out of you. And I turn the ignition off on it. I need this little guy. I can either drive it over or tractor it over. What kind of painfully slow speed are we talking about here? Oh, it's slow. Three miles an hour? Ooh. <laughs> But by the time I went to get a tractor... Oh, everything's backwards. Let's do it this way so I can go forward. There we go. By the time I went and got a tractor, drove over, hooked it up, drove it over, unhooked it, spun it around, drove it in, I have a feeling I would have done the same job. But that end there with the with the little A-frame up in the air, I believe attaches to the the uh, business end of the, of the red one there. So it's a matter of getting this end right here into, oh, it's already found sweet potatoes and loaded up. So it's got a pretty significant radius. Interesting. Alright, so if I hit over here, oops, it, okay, it wanted, it went right on me all by itself. Now I'm steering it out. Okay, so I'm going to head off in this direction and see if it tries to go uphill. Alright, now will it give me the attachment cue? It wants to so bad. Oh, come on. Q. What are my choices here? Unload here. Unfold belt. Oh. Hello. Okay. And I want to attach up in there. All right, let's try driving this backwards. I need to aim for right about there. Now, can I aim this up and down? Let's see here. That's that one. Fold belt, unload here. I did this about, I don't know, four or five episodes? No, ten episodes ago? And I've already forgotten how to do it. Kind of need to get, I need to get a little bit closer. Let's hop out. 
Jump into this one. Does this now connect? Q, nothing. All right, I'll be right back. At this end, turns out that's the end that goes to the tractor. That's the end I'm looking for. And everything's backwards because I'm driving backwards. Alright. We got this now, right? Um, turn, turn, turn. It made it. I still can't hit Q and make it attach, though. What if I tried a little bit more there? Well, that wants to be it. You can see how close they're getting. I can't change the elevation. Okay. Well, boy, that looked uh, not very professional. But it will accomplish the job now. With that done... Ah, it worked. Okay. I had to shut the game down and start over. And I was about to drag all that out of there. I went ahead and decided to give it one last try. It looks really good when it's working. But boy, is it finicky. We've got almost 4,000 loaded into there right now. Um, I'll probably stop at around 5. Well, for all the trouble I went through... <laughs> Fill it. Let's see. That's yeah, going to take a while. We'll stop around 75, which is what? Just drive away? Yeah, that should stop it. Okay. Well, boy, that was a lot of work. Okay. We've got pig food. Let's go take care of that. This is going to be one of those episodes with all kinds of editing and cutting sections out. I have no idea how long it's going to be. Now, I just realized I've got a bale fork on there. Or is that a pallet fork? Either way, it's not a bucket. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Well, tell you what. Let's drop the back trailer over there. And let's try backing this in and see if we can just pour it in directly. And not worry about trying to... Have they already thrown all that food out? Oh, these things are messy. Now, we're just going to have to call that good enough. I want to know if I can pour this into there. And it will stop just the same way it stops when, uh, when the quantity's full using the bucket. Now, let's switch to the green door. Um, where are you at? There it is. You for tip side back. Green door. Okay. Uh, F1. Zoom out so we can see what we're doing here. Let's back up some more. Right in there. A little further. I don't want to hit the fence as it goes. Can I just hit I here? I can. It does accept it. Oh, he's going right for the... Uh, Right for the corn. Wow, we took all of that. Let's go get the other one. Uh, drop you here. All right, we'll do the same thing with the, uh, the sugar beets. We'll haul these back and head over to the cattle. No, actually, we've got to uh, uh, blow in the hay. And we can do that with the tractor here. So I want to go this way. Uh, 
right like that. All right. You and tip back green door. There you are. I. <laughs> All of that corn that it took, and it took almost no sugar beets. Interesting. Right there. 845 is all that it needed. Wow. Okay. Well, water and straw. That takes care of them. Uh, we've updated here cleanliness and the grass over there. So it's just water and water. And then all of this. Okay. That's what I want. So forward. And we need to dump these somewhere. Let's work them into the uh, one of the stalls over there. And we're back in there. And we should still be already set to the uh, green door. So I... Nope, control I. We're not in a, a dump zone. There we go. Although it is the green door, isn't it? It's still nice and slow. Oops, this way. Whenever I am not facing the way of the wheel, I get everything backwards. And here I would I would hit the right pedal and go where I wanted to go. Interesting how the brain works that way. I can't turn it around and have it be second nature. I have to stop and really think hard about it. Let's hook up the other trailer and get these back. Nope. I'll take that back also. Q. Let's go on and blow some straw in there. Then I kind of need to get the straw back to the cattle. Yes, I do. So maybe the trailers do stay here. And he blows out of this side, right? Well, oh, it looks like a chute. That looks like the uh, all the, the pulleys and, and belts. Is there an X on this thing? Something happened. Where am I? Let me zoom out a little bit. What was that noise? Oh! Really? <laughs> I've always loaded it from the top. I didn't know you could just shove them in the back. Okay, let's get over there. I'm going to guess it comes out this right side over here. So I'm going to back this in and we'll see what happens. See that going up? Pigs. Straw right there. Oh, I gotta do it again. Now, what did I do? Let's see. Unload is I. Okay. Not that one. That one. I. I see. The chute pops up and there it sprays. And it's gonna take out another bale. Let me see it start to fill up the area there. And are we done? Let's do I one more time. No, we're gonna get parts of another bale. Now we're done. Okay. So you need to go back with us. And I don't really need any more uh, uh, any more use of the tippers. Yeah, so we'll just take this guy back. Go around the horn here. Take this back to the cattle. Now we're still looking for the water tank. Pretty sure that's over half the cattle. So we'll drop this off there, use it, and then on the way back, the water tank with us. Let's hope there's enough supplies over there to give the cattle at least a, something to eat. Now, if I slam the brakes, will that stuff fall forward? No. I'm just going to have to be careful with it in there. Or get in this mode, and so I, you know, this, this view, so I don't really notice what I'm doing back there. <laughs> now, watch this tree in the corner. There it is. Now, question is, do I have any uh, do I have any bales of straw still back there? Oh, they bounced around. Okay. Still got them. 
Heck, let's deal with that first. Blows out of this side. Let's just go fill that up. Put this guy away. Oh, there's a mess of grass out there. All right, let's dump one of these in right there. And another one. And that is all that's needed. Okay, let's put this away, and I don't see a water drop. I'm going to have to do a little bit of uh, investigating to figure out where I set that last. Let's get this guy put away. Something like that. Uh, correct one is selected. Okay. All right. So last time we found that we could dump this stuff straight in without mixing it. I'm curious about that. Not going to dump the straw anymore, but let's grab another grass bale. Well, hay bale. Don't have any grass available to us. In fact, we don't. That's right. The sheep would count sheep would count grass or hay. But over here at the cows, we've got grass only. And then hay and silage mixed together, or, or inter, interchangeable. So grass we're going to be short of without getting the mowers out. Okay. But let's go ahead and get the hay in there. We saw the mixing wagon not long ago. That is a that is a bale for a, a pallet fork. That's not uh, going to deal with, with hay. Okay. So let's put you aside. And we'll use the other one. Hopefully I've got both. Yeah, that's what I need. So let's go clean up the, the grass that is out there. Where am I at? Spin into here. Drop down. Hello. I'm there. Like so. Down, tip, up, right there. Let's try the other forward. Now, what kind of quantity are we going to get out of this? Actually, quite a bit. More than half. That was impressive. In fact, I have a feeling, I haven't tested this, but I have a feeling that... Uh, you can create grass here. I think we, we feed them everything but grass. We'll still have grass spilled out. And constantly be putting what they, uh, you know, what they mess out here, and it'll keep counting as grass. What do you think? I think I'm on to something here. I think I'm on to spontaneous grass generation. That is a whole bucket of grass for free. Let's spin around in here. Got room? Kind of. Yes. Alright, well, there's 1400 grass we shouldn't have. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Alright, so after this, we need the last of those hay bales. Actually, let's grab a bunch of silage. So the total. Whoa, that was close. Took out a tire. Total mixed rations of the power food is a mixture of hay and straw and silage. I wonder if all it does is just fills the meters that dumping them in individually would fill as well. Let's find out. I need to move the warrior. That's not in the best spot with those uh, tines sticking out there. So, what are we doing? We just dumped silage in. So silage and hay is going to fill this one up. No, it still wants power food separately. It does. Okay. Well, we don't have any more silage bales. We do have the silage there, which will work just fine. So, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Pop out of you. Let's grab this guy and get him out of here. Right there. 
All right, what was the uh, what was the mixture? Um, yeah, we'll leave that on. That accidentally, but that actually makes sense. I'm gonna say I'm gonna do two of each and then finish it off with silage. Let's see what that does. Well, actually, what I need to do is just remind myself which was the one that took. Uh, there was one of them that took less. It may have been the straw, actually. It may have been. This and tip it in. Okay. All right. So that is straw, and that takes the least. Now we need equivalent of two each of the other ones. Drop down. Depth looks pretty good. I want that near the top, so it'll drop into the uh, the mixing wagon a little bit easier. Two of these. Like so. Get closer. There we are. And snag it, lift, tilt, drive out that way, tilt more. There we go. Alright, up. There we go. Now, let's grab the bucket and put a big scoop in there and see how that looks. Uh, a bale is 4,000. What is a bucket? Zoom in a little bit here. There we go. Bucket is like 18. Yeah, so I'm just going to take two of these to equal one bale of, uh, of hay. I'm going to take a, several of these. This is a small bucket. It's not like the, uh, the telehandler. All right, zoom out a little, see what I'm doing. A little higher. After this one, I'm going to get into the cab of the other one. Just kind of verify that it is what I'm remembering. All right, F1. All right, sod is the middle, or the silage is the middle. And it does look like it's going to do what I want. So another two buckets. How to get, how to drop the other levels down as it all portions and, and hit just right. I want to hit that escape to get out of there. this edge here. Boy, I'm in the air. Wheels aren't even turning. Alright. Interesting how the blanket automatically lifts and clears for you as you're getting close to it.
just occurred to me if I had been doing this from the other side of the mixing wagon, it may have been a lot easier. Oh well, we're here. bales of hay pretty much overloaded. Um, let's go ahead and dump this. Let me know what it is we've got. Uh, but I can dump it in here. That's right. And how could there be that much grass already out there? That doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. That's a little bit out of proportion there. I'm running at one speed too, so real time. So it's not like we're going at a, you know, a sped up process that's exaggerating things. Maybe there's not much here, it just looks like a lot. No, that's already a quarter of a bucket. So we dumped in 19 last time, right? Well, no. Bucket holds 18, we got three quarter. We dumped in 14 last time wonder. Maybe it's good that this happened. 14 plus another 10? What's this going to be? <laughs> I can't steer if I wanted to. <laughs> Let's catch this last little bit over here. Right there. Right there. All right, I want to know something. All right, we're gonna see like 2,000 grass in there. Grass 2,200, we had no grass and now we have 2,300 grass. Yeah, there's a little problem in the game there. Just saying. But let's use the silage, the, no, the total mix rations there. Uh, we can leave you on there. And then let's go find the water and call this one done. Now you dumped to... Looks like you dumped to either side. That's right. This one did have that choice. Um, Toggle left side. It already is. Okay. Well, let's see it happen. Like that, and let's see if it's consistent. I, it is, and we're we're kind of you know, poured on the ground there, but there we go. That looks a little bit better. We're using a lot of that. Real time. We could use a couple of these for the quantity of cattle that we've got. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So water is what we need pretty much left. Pigs? Productivity. I was thinking that that was the uh, 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 the cleanliness, but that's down here. That's because they have zero water. There's, there's at least a little bit of water in these guys, so we're saying we're pretty productive. Okay, let's get this put away and we'll go find the water tank. Where did I leave that last? There you are. Yep, I remember that now. All right, this way. Thank you. We need to fill you up. Uh, back a little more. There we are. Now 2,000 left. That'd be enough to get the, the cattle or the pigs going. Let's get them done. That's on the far side, right? Look at all the corn still on the ground, so I would imagine we can grow corn over here, too. There's another way of making income off of the animals. <laughs> Just keep selling what uh, what falls out of the trough. Alright. Right in there. 
R or I? I. There we go. So we put this in here. What kind of quantity does that give us? Pigs, water, pretty much there. Good. So that's all we're going to do for them. That should... Uh, cleanliness, zero. Yeah, I'm going to give up on that. Something's something's a little buggy in the game there. It's going a little, uh, a little OP on that. Nearest water. We have here. We have here. We need to do the sheep. There's nothing in this area. The other one's over there. So let's head out here, fill this, run over, hit the sheep, and cattle. And if it's not enough, I can go back there, then go back. All right, that's the plan. Now how do we get down there? There we go, coast is clear. Herd is still behind me, right? Yep. Yeah, let's bring that map up. I'm thinking it's right through this field here. Coast is clear. Zip across. Yeah, it's right behind the mill. A couple of fields just waiting for something to be planted in them. I'm going to head right on through and out to the sandy beach over here. That's right, speaking of sandy beach, I think you can also fill up over by the resort. Alright. Back you into there. Don't go too far, though. It does get the sense of being heavy. It kind of drags you in. Alright, R. Yeah. So R to fill it, I to dump it. So the pigs took about 2,000. Hopefully the sheep will take about 2,000 and it'll leave uh, four or 5,000 for the cattle. Alright, let's go. Come on, guys. 35 in here. What's this driving at 19 stuff? Alright. Blink, blink. Blink, blink. Hope they know I'm a farmer with lots to do and never enough time in the day. In fact, let's just cut right across our grass field. This place is ready for another mowing. Alright. Water. That's this one, right? Yep. Yep, all that grass is on the ground too. So there's something not right with the uh, the speed at which the animals get dirty, get their their, their feeding trough dirty. All right, can I eye from here? I can. All right, what's the sheep gonna take? Right there, it took 2,300, and the pigs took 1,800. I'm, well, I would think the cattle would take a lot more, but I don't know that. Can I back that out of here? Uh, I think I can. Something like that. There's the cattle. Got an entrance right over here. Water. Think, think, think. Water's on the far side. Right? This is where you load grass in. Yeah. Pretty sure this is the water is up here. Right there. After this, I'm going to see a little further. I'm going to go and and uh, install the Gold Rush game that I just got the key for, and give it a try. See what I think. Uh, what am I on my wheels here? Let's turn this way. That's what I need. I, yeah. And. How are we looking otherwise? Yeah, it's going to take a lot more. I would think the cattle would take a lot more. It's going to take a whole load, isn't it? It did. Okay. We're out of water again. I'm giving up on the cleanliness. 
<laughs> Zero again. Yeah, I could spend all day long just cleaning these up. Um, otherwise, our productivity is back where it should be. The animals have enough to survive, and I'd say they're they're uh, they're going to be fine. After this, let's. I think I'm going to advance time to the production of or the ready to harvest the potatoes. So next episode, we'll deal with harvesting potatoes and get those stored away. After that. I believe we'll dive into the uh, uh, harvesting of Field 5. We get three harvesters going and and uh, probably the IT runner uh, be between them to keep uh, emptying them out. I think there's enough capacity there to, to do a pretty good job. And that'll be the end of the series. Leave me some comments if there's something you really want to see before we end this. I can still squeeze in one or two more. And with that, I think we're going to call this one done. It's been Noble Rambler, and thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.